Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get an unreleased PSP game called The Elder Scrolls Oblivion Travels running on your PS Vita using the Adrenaline Emulator. So the first thing you want to do is just go and start up Vita Shell. And now once Vita Shell starts up, just press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. So the link will be in the description for you guys to download all of the available builds for the Elder Scrolls Travels Oblivion. So all you guys want to do, it will be a Google Drive link, just look at the top right and just click on the download button. So it's a zip file um, with all of the builds in and it's roughly 418 megabytes. So just click on download anyway and this will begin downloading. So once the zip file has finished downloading, just go to your computer's downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in here. So what we need to do, just get the zip file and just double click to open it. So these are all of the builds that we have. Um, so some of these builds are newer than others um, and you can just take whichever build you want and then um, play it on your PS Vita. Um, you guys just pick any one you want. I'm going to choose this one right here. Um, we're 31 at the start. So just drag this out to your downloads folder. So this is the build that I'm going to be using. So my PS Vita is connected. Um, what you want to do is actually go onto your PS Vita, click on view at the top and just go on hidden items just so you can see all of the hidden files on your PS Vita. Now just back to my downloads folder. So what you want to do is just copy the build you wish to use. So right click and copy back onto the PS Vita. You're looking for the PSP MU folder, which is this one right here. Now go into ISO and we are going to right click and paste our build into here. So the builds are roughly, I think about 200 megabytes in size and you do actually get quite a lot of gameplay out of them, which I will be showing you some of the gameplay. Um, they have like full working sound and everything like that. And the games are actually quite playable. If you're a fan of the um, Elder Scrolls series, then um, you'll definitely like playing this. So just give it a few seconds to copy across. Once it's finished, I will head over to my PS Vita and show you how to set it up and how to get it working. Right, so back on your PS Vita, you can now close out of Vita Shell because we don't need this anymore. And you want to open up your Adrenaline emulator. So just press X and then just press X to start it. Once the emulator loads up, we actually need to press select because there is an option we need to enable in the recovery menu. So scroll down and press X on recovery menu. On this page right here, scroll down to advanced and just press X and go down to advanced configuration and press X again. And we need to enable the top option, which is force high memory layout. So make sure this is enabled. As you can see, mine's already enabled. You can press X on it to enable or disable it. Then go to the top and just go back, go back again, go down to exit, and it will now just refresh. So once the VSH restarts, we can now go and load up our game. So just look for it on your memory stick. Here is the exact demo version that I got. So just press X to start it. So as you can see, we get the loading screen. Now this game obviously isn't complete, otherwise they would have released it. Um, it was abandoned, um, but there is actually quite a lot of the game already done. So we can actually play a few of the missions. Um, you can see what the game would have been like. There is a few options that are missing and it actually just tells you they're missing. So let's just press start. Even at the start here, it says work in progress. Let's just press X and it will load up the game. So there are actually secret dev menus in this and um, where we can travel to different parts in the game um, just to like play it a lot easier. Um, but for the controls, I think um, X is like punch, triangle is jump, um, square is like block, and circle is used like a magic spell. Also, if you hold R and then tilt the um, analog stick, this is how you can look around. So if you wanna like loot people and stuff like that, um, there's also um, select, this is to bring up your inventory, and you can go left and right, and you can equip swords and stuff like that. And then you just press triangle to exit. So as you can see, I now have my sword equipped, and I can press X to use it. So let's just go up to the gate here, and there's like a mini cutscene. This does have sound as well. 
so I'm not sure how many of the sounds complete, but it does have like the sword uh, swipe sound and like people dying and stuff like that. So let's just try some gameplay. Um, we've actually got like a mini fight here of this goblin sort of thing. Now there is actually a secret dev menu that we can use um, to travel to different parts in the game. So if you just hold the start button, it's going to come up with this mini menu. So what we can do is we can press X on any of these things and travel there. So you can jump to different places. So let's jump to um, whatever this says. I'm not actually quite sure what that is. But just press X on it and it will actually teleport you there. So as you can see, we're now in the middle of this city. And we've actually got some zombies running at us which we can battle. Now you can actually loot things, I will show you in a minute, let me just kill this skeleton real quick. So if you hold like R and just look down, you can press X on people and I believe you can loot them. So this person here has a Daedric Battle Axe, so we can press X and I should be able to equip that um, in my settings. So it's this one right here. Yeah, there you go. Now we've got the uh, Daedric Battle Axe. So it's a shame this game was never released because it would actually have been really cool. But at least we still get to play it um, because the company, you know, sort of just actually released it because they didn't really care anymore. Or maybe one of the developers leaked it. I'm not quite sure how it got released to the public, but pretty much everyone can download it for free now. So yeah, and you can play this on your PS Vita without any problems. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.